today I'm going to put some foam in the end of this canoe down the bottom there I've um, got a made a cavity by putting a uh, top on it and I've estimated it's about 25 litres and we're going to fill it with foam to create buoyancy you'll see how we do that equipment needed to um, use pouring foam is you need the pouring foam it's a part A part B it's equal parts you need some way to mechanically mix it if you don't mechanically mix it it won't foam as much by uh, mechanically mixing it'll go to about 25 to 1 you need graduated containers or in this case I'm going to use an ice cream container uh, marked at uh, 500 mil and a litre a litre should expand to about 25 litres of foam when uh, cured this here is a uh, graduated container designed for mixing drinks but it's good graduations for mixing smaller quantities so the plan is here at standby in case I've got to mix small, a smaller quantity to finish off the pour okay what we're doing here today is pouring foam so we'll start out with the part A I always start out with part A and we'll put in 500 mil up to our line I pre-marked and then just check it a little bit more that's it there Now we'll put our part B in. This is where we've got to be quick because as soon as we get the part B in, we've got to start mixing straight away and we've only got about 30 seconds to mix before it'll start to foam. So that's why we've got to get everything set up really fast or pre-hand and work fast once we start working with it. So we've got our two parts and if you bring the camera in close You'll see how it's already started to turn colour. So we mix it. That's enough. And what I'm going to do here is put our mixer into some used acetone. That way it'll um, uh, just clean the foam off. And we go and pour it. And that's why it's called pouring foam. So there we are, that's with it freshly poured, you watch it as it starts to uh, expand. See it expanding? It's rising already. Look at that. Now the reason we do this is to create buoyancy in, the, in our canoe, uh, because we, we if they if it capsizes you know we want want it to have positive buoyancy to support a couple of people even with them wearing life jackets it will be finished expanding in two to three minutes so we'll let this finish expanding and if we need to we'll um, make up some more Our uh, foam has finished expanding. Look how much we got. So that was out of a litre. That whole area has been filled up with a litre of foam. Uh, quite. So that shows how much it uh, expands. I'm actually going to cut it back now. I made a mistake. I put a piece of plastic on here, um, like like this, to to try and hold it down when it was expanding and what's happened as soon as I've taken the pressure off it's pulled away from the sides you're better off not doing it let it re-expand now I'm going to cut this back now and uh, then seal it with some bokeh epoxy anyway uh, she's full all in one go there we go our buoyancy tanks finished uh, even though we had a bit too much foam it's been cut off so it's nice and neat 
and sealed with a boat coat epoxy. So they're the offcuts there. So a litre of foam filled that whole void plus the spare. Uh, so 25 to 1 it'll expand.